doing coverage. News 18 is keeping a close eye on the search for Paul Etter this morning. Etter has been on the run for six days now. News 18's Isabella Caruso joins us live from Tippecanoe County. Isabella, you spoke with the sheriff's office this morning. What did they tell you? They told me there are no new developments this morning, but the latest update is that there has been a statewide alert issued for Etter's search. Now, that alert will go through the Department of Homeland Security to every law enforcement agency in the state. However, the sheriff's office is still focusing its search for Etter locally. They've been looking in the eastern part of Tippecanoe County since Saturday. That's when a woman told police she had been held against her will and assaulted for hours. Etter is facing seven preliminary charges, including two counts of rape when compelled by force or imminent threat of force, and also kidnapping. Law enforcement is warning the public to stay clear of Etter if they come across him. He is believed to be armed and dangerous. It is also recommended to keep doors and vehicles locked. Now, anyone with information on Etter is asked to call the sheriff's office. You can see that number on your screen right now. It's 765 423 9321. In a recent Facebook post, the sheriff's office said that with putting all of its efforts toward this search lately, it's been kind of difficult to communicate with the public. So they're asking everyone to keep up with local media. Now, we've been talking to Sheriff Goldsmith ever since this search began, and we will continue to follow this story. So you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Also, check out our website, WLFI.com, and of course, uh, catch us on air for the latest updates in the search for Paul Etter. Reporting live in Tippecanoe County, Isabel Russo for News 18. Isabella.